Aloha and welcome to Live in Hawaii. I'm your host, Crystal Montrone, and today we're at Lemuse, a boutique that features all natural fiber clothing from all over the world. Let's go check it out. Hey everyone, I'm here with the store owner, Julia, of Lemuse here at South Shore Market. How are you doing, Julia? I'm doing well, thank you. How about yourself? You know, I'm really intrigued by your store. When you walk in, I feel like it's, it's a different kind of store. Tell me about your concept and what kind of um, clothing that you um, have. I designed the store for a working mother. Uh, she's artistic and she's um, well-traveled, so she understands and appreciates finer things in life. She wants her clothes to be all natural fiber, mm -hmm. so it's a way to protect our environment too. And you know, you mentioned that there's designers here that you work with from all over the country, yes. right? Or actually all over the all world. Over the world yes. uh, explain, uh, tell me a little bit about them. Uh, yes, so far we have things made in France, Italy, Norway, Japan with Belgian linen, made in India, USA, and also some things my mother and I, we design make here in Hawaii. Okay, so besides the fabulous clothes that you have, you know, I see the dolls and little figurines. Talk to me about that. Thank you for noticing. Speaking of the working mother, when they come here to shop, they bring their kids sometimes, so I thought, since I'm a big kid myself, I always love toys. Yeah. Uh, I want the children to have a great time also. So I bring this line from Denmark. Uh, they are made by hand with cotton and linen. They're voted the best toy for the U.S. market and the most likely to be passed on as heirlooms. Yeah, you know, sometimes I'm like, I look at these toys and, you know, I think simple is so much better. You know, nowadays we have the phones, we have all these like crazy tech technology kind of toys and yes. sometimes these toys I think are the best. I think children need to play with simple things so that they can use their own imagination. <laughs> I, I agree with you because simple toys evoke imagination. Right. Then people, uh, children can tell the story to each other versus they just listen. Right. I have to agree on that. Okay. And then tell me about this amazing hobby and talent that you have. Uh, yes. I grew up not having any doubt until I was in high school. I saved my lunch money and bought my first Barbie. And um, I always loved dolls. So as I became older, mm -hmm. I started to treat myself. And as I collect, I start to have ideas of my own. So I've been making dolls seriously for the past two months. And uh, people respond to them really, really well. They're incredibly beautiful. And you said you think take much. like 10 hours each? Over, yes. Oh my gosh. I mean, you hear it from Julie. She is a hard worker and uh, an entrepreneur and just an innovator. I think, you know, you, you see the um, Lemuse and I really get like this uh, muse here. Like I'm like really motivated to to learn more and to just try on new stuff that I've never tried before. Thank you, yeah. let's have some fun. Yes, for sure. Well, you know what, the models are about to arrive mm -hmm. and you know, before they get here, would you mind picking out a few outfits for me? I would love to, yes. Okay, let's go for it. So Julia, tell, talk to me a little bit about the dolls here. Are these from Germany? Uh, actually, they are from Denmark. Denmark, Denmark. They are handmade with the cotton and linen. They're beautiful. And you have like little mice, little yes. rabbits. You could find the entire families from little infant. Oh, cute. To fire. To and this looks like a collector's, like you can collect these. Actually, yes. They are not just for kids. Many collectors come here and buy for themselves. Yeah. These are beautiful. All right, well, I'm ready to try on some clothes. Uh, what are some outfits that you have for me? I suggest this dress, I mean skirt. This is beautiful. It gives you a flatter stomach, but then it has a soft built-in bustle. Mm -hmm. So it sweeps beautifully, very elegant. And look at this print. I mean, it, it's like it tells a story. It does. It's a traditional uh, French fabric, I cotton toile. And tells a story of the country life. How It seems very romantic. Yes. <laughs> and let's just pair it with a white simple okay. t-shirt. I also recommend this piece. Jewelry mm -hmm. is always my go-to 
try style. Oh, was it this one? Right? Oh, oh my God! Yes, <laughs> <laughs> yes I, I like this, this one. This one is adorable. Me. Yes, I feel like it's it doesn't have that um, normal asymmetric. It's asymmetrical, it's asymmetrical line, asymmetrical. right? It's like a sculpture. Yeah. Yes. Okay. I'm it's excited made to try in Italy that. by a German designer. Okay. Wow, that looks so beautiful on you. I, this is so romantic. This skirt is beautiful. And this is what you and your mom made. Yes, my design, my mother and I, we make it at home. This is simply beautiful. And then explain the bustle again, because I think it's very flattering. Yes, if you move it to the center, it creates like a peacock tail. A softer version of the old fashioned bustle, yeah. because we're in a modern Period. Right, and then you're saying like, oh, like the way it is, it, it makes my tummy flat. I like yes, it. It does flat in everybody's stomach. I feel very slimming. I love it. And then what would you accessorize with this? I would put this uh, beautiful sculpture doll. Oh my gosh. This it's is called beautiful. Servant Gaxo from Paris. Each doll takes at least seven different artists to finish. Seven artists? Yes, this is um, a dog princess and her pet is a swan. I would love to put this on. Beautiful. I feel like it's completely Voila. Beautiful on you. Cute. I don't know where I'm going with this, but this is... You know, going feel, to the market. I feel going to do beautiful. Lucy's. Alright. Hello there. So how do I, I stylize like this. this? This one, I want you to pull it up mm -hmm. to show the smallest part of your body. Mm -hmm. So even if it's baggy, it doesn't mm -hmm. make you fat. I like that. I like that tip. I didn't realize that that's kind of how you style it. Yes, many people shy away from uh, baggy clothes. Mm -hmm. But for natural fiber, it tends to live in loose fitting. Right. And I would put this infinity necklace on you. This is beautiful. Thank you. Oops. Great. All right. This is really comfortable, but I like that tip about showing so Every the part of mm -hmm. the fabric, the pattern is different. Amazing how intricate all of your clothes are. You look so good. Thank in this you. Style. All right. This has to be, I think, my favorite look so far. It's, it's a big wow from me. Yeah. Yes. I mean, it's really simple, but the I don't, sculpted. I don't, I, very sculpted. You know, mm -hmm. very asymmetrical. Um, it's not what you would normally think, think as like a white simple dress, but it's beautiful. It's comfortable. I think it like accentuates the right places. Exactly, <laughs> it's romantic but modern. Mm -hmm. Therefore, I will pair you with this French oh, linen uh, ballerina necklace. Beautiful. Oh my gosh, just perfection. Isn't that just gorgeous. Are you the ballerina you after your ballerina? show? You're going to the after party. Yes, this is beautiful. Wow, I am blown away by all the intricate finds in this store. Well, don't go away because the models are about to arrive to pick out their selection, and then we're going to head over to Flotsam & Co. to get accessorized. Don't go away. Come with me, let me show you some of the styles I think may work for you. My name is Adrian. I definitely try to do my part for the environment. I try to make sure that the things I buy or the things that I use come from um, either a sustainable source or somehow doing uh, good for the environment. For example, when I swim the ocean, I always use reef-friendly sunscreen. Um, and I always try to make sure I know where the sources of all the things I buy come from. I was definitely a geek, so I really loved all the science classes. Um, I ended up majoring in something uh, very similar in university, so I guess it worked out for me. Very modern, professional. My name is Tatiana. I feel like I do my part in the environment, for the environment, though I definitely could do a lot more. I recycle, I do not litter, and I work in a lab that promotes coral research, so that definitely helps though. I'm currently working on using only glass plates and cups and forks and everything so that I don't have to use paper or plastic anymore. My favorite subject in school is math and I love numbers, everything to do with it, and not a lot of people get that.
My name is Destiny. I have volunteered at a couple community service events where we did pick up some trash on the beaches. Uh, we try to get people to recycle, but I wish I did more events just to help out with the environment. My favorite subject, because my family's listening, is English. They were sticklers for proper English, and I think it's key and beneficial in any profession. My name is Jamie. I try to do my part for the environment, but I could probably do better. Um, I do recycle and I don't litter, so you know, those are some good things. <laughs> I didn't really have a favorite subject in school, um, but I was definitely best at English, so it's my strongest subject. Hey guys, so we left the Muse and we came over to Flotsam & Co to get accessorized. Bam, bam, bam. Tell me what you got and what you love about it. Well, I'm wearing the bangles. They are a design it yourself. So it comes with one shell or glass and then after that you can add on additional ones for an additional cost. Yeah, I'm wearing the European Emerald. It's one of a kind and the design alone just caught my eye. It's really comfortable and it's a perfect fit for me. <laughs> And what are you wearing? I'm wearing a beautiful sunrise shell here. It looks like it's dipped in gold and that adds such a nice touch along with this sunrise bracelet as well. I really went all out. I have um, a hat on with the shark teeth on it and I have uh, moonstone and labradorite rings. And I have a breathable and uh, waterproof bag for you to put like wet stuff in or anything that you don't want to get moldy. It's a really great thing to bring to the beach. Okay, well, I am like decked out in like the druzy quartz. I just thought it was a beautiful blue, blue color. And then I was like, oh, I put the earrings on. I was like, oh, why not the necklace? And then why not the ring? But anyway, <laughs> why not, right? I love everything. And I love that there's such a different variety of um, really cool like stones and shells and different things here. So thanks, Karen, from Flotsam & Co. Well, everyone, well, don't go away. We'll be right back after the break. Hey guys, so I, ha I have to say we had a really fun filled day. Um, let's talk about fashion first, what you liked at Lemuse and what inspired you. So I wore the black ensemble. It came with a black skirt and a cut off shirt. It was very comfortable and airy and at the same time had a little tie to go around your waist to accentuate your waistline. So I thought it was really chic and comfortable at the same time. So I got to try on two dresses and the material on both were amazing. The quality was perfect and wearing them just felt so nice because of the fact that the material was great and they were both beautiful. 
So I got to try on two outfits. The first was a uh, pants and uh, blouse number, and it was really cool to be able to see it, uh, see some of her clothes look really dressed up and professional. And then my favorite outfit was this gray soft dress. The material was so fun to touch, and I just loved twirling around in it, and it had pockets. I got to try on two dresses as well. Um, one of them was a light colored, uh, just flowy, silky, nice, comfortable, pretty dress. But the one I really loved was from India and it was a three quarter length sleeve and it buttoned all the way up to the neck and it was just very beautiful. I have to say I love being like styled because you know sometimes when you look at like an outfit on the hanger it doesn't always look the same right and so when she when everyone of you put these outfits on you guys looked amazing and I was so surprised that each look was so different like on top of that she tops it off with these beautiful accessories that are so intricate I mean I fell in love with my ballerina necklace I was like this is me <laughs> this is so me um, and you know and then you can see in the cases just really unique stuff so I love love everything she has. I love the heart and passion that she brings to her store. I mean, look at all these cute little toys behind us. I mean, so many things to look at here. All right, well, everyone, well, don't go away because when we come back, we're going to talk about sweets. Hey guys, so I'm here with the store owner of Lucy's Lab Creamery, Lee, how are you doing? I'm doing good, how are you? I'm doing great. I mean, anytime I'm around sweets, I'm really excited. And Lucy's Lab, I think, has something unique that most ice cream shops don't have. Yes, uh, we feature flavors that are very out of the box, uh, stuff you won't find in the grocery store. Uh, some of our uh, really popular flavors are blueberry cheesecake, brownie batter, uh, bacon whiskey, Fruit Loop vodka. Ooh. So. Sounds really good. I mean, and besides ice cream, you have also like a sweet roll and like different items too, right? Yes, yeah, so one of the things we're really well known for is the penne creme. So the penne creme is a Hawaiian sweet roll with uh, your choice of ice cream, your choice of spread and topping. Some people like to put some cereal in there. Uh, it's baked, so it's hot on the outside and cold on the inside. Oh my gosh, I'm probably gonna like fall asleep right after and just connect. <laughs> right. Sounds so good. Can't wait to try it all. But before we get to that, you know, tell me about Lucy's Lab. How did it get its start? You know, what's um, the concept behind everything? Uh, it really just started from uh, me and a couple friends just experimenting with uh, different desserts after dinner. And uh, we started making ice cream. Um, we had a little competition. Whoever kind of came up with the weirdest flavor <laughs> would win. And uh, that's kind of, that's where bacon whiskey got its inspiration from. Yeah. And uh, we have a company um, uh, baking contest and dessert contest and uh, we entered and actually won. So this is curious, oh, what can we do with this? I'd love to share this with the world. So I uh, went for a few weeks in Wisconsin, trained at some dairies up there, uh, how to take this up to the next level and the rest is history. So here we are. How can people find you on social media, online, you know, make those suggestions? So we're, our website is lucyslabcreamery.com. Uh, on Instagram, we're at lucyslabhi, H-I. And uh, you can also find us on Facebook, so. Nice. Well, thank you so much, Lee, and thank you for having us. I'm so excited. <laughs> <laughs> All right, everyone, so now we're gonna talk about Lucy's Lab Creamery, and I think our reaction is like, oh, heaven, like we loved it so much, but tell me what you had and what you loved about it. I had the almond float. I loved it because it tastes just like an almond, and then I had some mochi crunch on it. You would, would never think of that, but I put it to, when they put it together, it tastes amazing. So I fell in love with everything about Lucy's Lab Creamery. I ordered one scoop of Fruit Loop Vodka, and I put that on a sugar cone, which tasted amazing. On top of that, I had Lucky Charms marshmallows. Just the marshmallows, yes. <laughs> So I really like these small ice cream stores because they always offer something more unique that you don't find anywhere else. I actually tasted the whiskey bacon ice cream and on top of it I had cinnamon toast crunch uh, and it tasted awesome. You don't really think that those flavors would go together but it was great. I loved it also. Um, they had so many unique flavors and we tried a bunch of them but my favorite and the one I ended up ordering was the Cinnamon Toast Crunch ice cream. It was very good and I also got Oreos on top of that. Man, when we walked in I was like, there are way too many options here. So many flavors and so many ways to have your ice cream and oh, I was like, 
what do I get? So I definitely wanted to try the Panda Creme. And then they gave you more options after that. Do you want a spread? So I got Nutella. Do you want a topping? I got Fruit Loops. And then, okay, what's your ice cream? I was like, all right, ube. And did it all work? Yes, it did. Like it was so amazing to see all the combinations that you can create. And you're always going to get something different when you come back next. So I'm blown away by all the flavors and I can't wait to see what they have next for us. All right, well everyone, don't go away because when we come back, we're gonna check out the results of our photo shoot. And now it's time to visit our friends at Elite Yunani Aesthetic Medicine. Hey everyone, I'm here at Elite Yunani Aesthetic Medicine. I have aesthetic nurse with me, Marie, and Dr. Reed, and of course our patient, Barbara. Barbara, what are we doing today? I'm interested in getting these wrinkles and this loose skin under here treated. So Dr. Reed, how do we treat that? So one of the best ways to treat that area is with radio frequency technology. Uh, radio frequency technology, we're using a, a machine called the Palo and what it does is it induces a radio frequency electrical stimulus through the skin, uh, resulting in the stimulation of the, uh, a particular kind of cell uh, beneath the skin called a fibroblast. You get very good results after one treatment. Uh, of course, on, on one of these sessions we talked about uh, Botox, we found that if we treat first or along with the radio frequency, we don't need as much Botox because a lot of the wrinkles have been filled in already. Well, nice. Well, I see uh, all your equipment set up and I'm eager to see how this procedure is done. For more information, go to aliinani.com or call at 808-674-4300. Mention you saw them on Live in Hawaii and get 10% off your first procedure. We had an amazing day shopping at Lemuse, Flotsam & Co, and taking care of our sweet tooth at Lucy's Lab Creamery. Don't forget to follow us on social media. I'm your host, Crystal Montrone, and we'll see you here next time on Live in Hawaii.